Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. Today we're going to create this glass text effect in Affinity Photo. You can use the same methods in Affinity Designer to achieve the glass text effect. Okay, let's get started. Open Affinity Photo and create a new document. For this effect, we need a background. I'll grab one from the stock images. I think this image will work great. I'll scale it down. And position it properly on the canvas. Next, I'll apply a Gaussian blur filter to the background. Increase the blur radius to about five pixels. Check the Preserve Alpha checkbox if the edges turn white. Then, close the Gaussian Blur tab. I will drag this filter layer out of my image layer and place it before image layer. Now, write the text and choose a font of your liking. Then resize and position the text on the canvas. Make sure the text color is black. Change the blending mode of the text layer to screen. Now you'll see the text just vanish. Don't worry. With the text layer selected, open the layer effects panel. First, apply the 3D effect. Change the radius to 8.5 pixels. The soften value to 5 pixels. The diffuse to 85% and the specular value to 80%. Next, apply the bevel and emboss effect. For this effect, change the type to inner and increase the radius to 10 pixels. Then, apply the inner shadow effect with 75% opacity, a 10 pixel radius, and 25% intensity. Next, apply the inner glow effect with 25% opacity, a 10 pixel radius, and 50% intensity. Optionally, apply the outer glow effect with 75% opacity, a 5 pixel radius, and 25% intensity. Remember, these values are not absolute. You can always tweak them according to your text size and background. So, feel free to experiment and get familiar with the settings. Before closing the Layer Effects panel, make sure to check the Scale with Object checkbox if you plan to scale up or down the text. Then, close the Layer Effects tab. The best thing about this effect is, you can edit your text and change other text settings like size and weight, just not the color. You can also change the background later if you want. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. See you in the next video.